are about to witness a spirit-filled, deep and forensic prophetic ministration with the very highly esteemed oracle of God, Dr. Elijah Coffey King. A spirit-filled encounter that will leave you motivated and captivated. Indeed, there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries as written in Matthew 11.25. The man anointed with giant solutions for giant problems. Praise God. Now, in my vision, the Spirit of God carried my spirit and took me all the way to Nigeria. And I saw myself in his church. Now, in the vision, what I saw was this. I saw demonic spirits that descended into the church. Their assignment was specifically that in this season, Winner's Chapel must come down. In this season, their assignment which has been sent from the headquarters of Satan to come on this earth and attack the church of Jesus Christ is that in this season, Winner's Chapel should be attacked. And what I saw was a very serious confusion. Serious confusion among the leadership of the church. I saw leaders of the church and pastors of the church talking angrily to each other on their feet, not seated. Angrily to each other. And there was confusion and I saw members of the church scattered. Now, in another revelation, I saw members of the church who were trying to come to church but they could not enter into the church why they could not enter into the church i couldn't see clearly whether there was a militant attack on the church listen to what i'm saying carefully and what i'm saying i'm not necessarily saying to us here i'm saying it to the body of christ so when we have to pray for bishop oyedepo and winners chapel worldwide we will know how to pray pray with direction pray with understanding the members of the church were not able to enter into the church there was something that created so much fear it was a militant attack or suicide attack that came upon the church that prevented church members from coming back to the church so this prophecy we put in on my youtube channel of course, when it should reach the leaders of Winners Chapel, there is no international prophecy I have given as a senior pastor of this church which has failed. There are some we don't even take the trouble to bring it to the church, but it has come to pass. Everyone that God will speak through me to the nations of the world, they always come to pass. My desire is not for the church to go through confusion or to have a militant attack or terrorist attack exactly terrorist attack it's not my desire for it to come to pass my desire is that as god reveals the church will rise and pray because that is my ministry when god reveals and we stand in the gap to pray god diverts it amen so even as they will come across this prophecy they shouldn't Take it personal. They should pray against it. They should pray against it. They should pray against it. This man, I've been to Nigeria and I've been to so many provinces in Nigeria and I've preached in a lot of towns in Nigeria. Almost every town I go, if a door will open for me to minister, it will come from a pastor who was once a pastor in Winners Chapel and they are standing on their own or they are still in Winners Chapel. He's a father, not only in Nigeria, worldwide. So it's not my desire that there will be serious confusion in the church among the pastors and the leaders of the church that will come out worldwide for everybody to hear and talk about. It is not also my desire that the church will suffer terrorist attack. Terrorist attack that will prevent members of the church confidently coming out from their house to say we are going to church. And I'm talking about Winners Chapel. We are going to church to pray even us as a church from today after today when we meet as a church we'll bring it as a prayer topic and pray amen and pray and then also if you are watching on social media and you are a member of Winners chapel pray for your pastor 
Bishop Oye Depo and pray for the leaders of the church. So the impending confusion that is coming in the body of the leadership, God will stop it for unity and peace to prevail. Amen. Amen.